Hello everyone and welcome back to Animal Crossing Pocket Camp and we are back at the beach! There is a brand new special fishing tourney going on right now. Look, Chip has come to join us. I am always so excited to see him because he is absolutely hilarious and I love the fishing tourneys! They are one of my favorite events and they usually give so many awesome items and this is no exception because this time around for the sixth fishing tourney we are actually having a special crossover with Splatoon 2. So you guys know they've been really, really pushing the Splatoon stuff for the Splatoon 2 crossover. It's actually making me want to spend a little bit of time trying Splatoon for the first time, which might be really hilarious and exceptionally painful to see. Like I mentioned before, my brother is actually a ranked Splatoon 2 player, and so I have never tried playing because the first time I sat down to watch the game was seeing one of his events, and when I saw how fast fast and furious it can go and how intense everything is and how much your team relies on you to know what kind of different paint gun weapons to use. I got so intimidated that I have never played Splatoon, but they are beginning to hook me in, no pun intended because this is a fishing event I suppose, with uh, all of the really cool Animal Crossing gear and swag that they are putting in. And uh, I love Animal Crossing so much, I really want to see what this is all about. But this time around, the fishing tourney is just like like all the other times where you come in, you catch some specialized fish. They'll have little special glowing spots in the water where you know that that is going to be one of your special fish indeed. And it's actually not fish you catch this time. I think it's like squid. Like there's green squid, pink squid, and I think purple squid that you can catch. They'll be different sizes. And as you go up the sizes, you will get different prizes. Look at that. There's so many prizes. And I, I could swear that normally the fishing tourney stops around like 6,000 centimeters. It doesn't really keep going, but this time it goes and goes and goes until you hit 10,000 centimeters worth of squid. That is so many squid. And you also can earn this very special Splatoon 2 trophy. I want this thing. I want this trophy so bad. It just looks so cool. And you get different milestones for each of the, uh, each of the amounts. So you can see like, okay, when you get to 250 centimeters, you get the green knitted hat. When you get to the five, seven, excuse you, like, excuse you, excuse me, so on and so forth. You get more of the different essences and the pink knitted splat hat, which apparently everybody is super excited about. Honestly, if we have like some special snowboard events during the winter, these would be perfect for that. And then if you keep going, you can get some more of the rare essences that are kind of hard for me. The newer ones that are hard for me to get my hands on, like the elegant, historical, civic, uh, the harmonious essence. And if you keep going, you get more essences. And if you keep going from there, you get this wind crusher. Look at all of these things. And if you keep going from there, you finally get the things that I'm really, really interested in. These squid dummies! Look at how cute they are. I really want those squid dummies. And eventually you can even get all all the way down to managing to get the super sea snail, which I have no idea what that is in actual Splatoon, but it looks really cute if you ask me. So I'm definitely interested in that. You can see, oh, look at everybody. The records, I've never really looked at the records from my friends before. Jeez, you guys are on top of things. I've got to catch up. And then you can also go and have chip challenges where you can get some special items. Uh, if you come over and complete some of Chip's challenges, purple octopus. Oh, hey, there's even horse mackerel and normal squids. You can get some fun little cookies. Maybe they're shaped like little starfish. That would be so cute. Some fun cookies from him. And then, oh, look at all of those leaf tickets. That's what I really want. Ah, and speaking of leaf tickets, I think that this is going to bump me off of my little Woodland Fairy Tale event for a little while because it's time to admit the Splatoon event is happening and I, I want to be well dressed for it and I think you guys if we can manage to finish up and win that Splatoon to trophy. If we can get the trophy so that I have a really awesome new gold trophy with a little squid on top, 
I'm going to reward myself by trying out one of the special leaf ticket bundles they have and we'll see if we can get some of these special items because this would be kind of fun to turn our entire camp into a paint gun area and who knows maybe that paint gun background would work really well if say we wanted to work on a mad scientist setup later on in October. That would definitely be fun. Uh, but first things first, I'm not very well dressed for this, so I actually wanted to come over and put on the Splatoon gear that I've already had made. And so far, that's these little mint shoes. Oh, they have special sounds when you put them on, that's so cool! That's these pants, the Inkling Girl pants. They do have special sounds when you put them on, that's so cool! The Black V Net Splat Tee. Nice! And then finally, I need a new hat, but I don't really have the Splatoon hats yet. I'm gonna take off my Woodsman's hat. Oh wait, what? Did I make this? When did I make the Inkling Girl wig? What? The purple Inkling Girl wig? Wait, no, 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 I think I got that as a special event because I I could put like my, my literal leaf bucks down. I don't think I made that. Yeah, there's the purple one, and you can make the pink one or the green one. I just saved 80 leaf tickets! I was totally gonna spend my leaf tickets on getting that today so we could be dressed, but purple is one of my favorite colors! So look at me! I am ready to go! We are ready to catch some squid! This is gonna be awesome! Oh, and we can also collect up these special clams. These clams are actually... Oh gosh, I love the little apple. The little apple thing she's got on top of her head that's so cute <gasps> and is she wearing <gasps> when 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 were the special outfits given out it's the llama's little outfit oh my gosh i can't remember her name right now because i'm so distracted oh uh, you know you know this dude blue alpaca man's wife she wears that outfit oh my gosh i'm i can't believe i missed out on that i was out of the game for too many months all right let's gather up these clam shells just really quickly, because these are the Blitz Clams. Collecting enough of them allows you to develop a quite the squiddly taste and fashion. And then let's get this thing started. Chip, you're not selling your... Hey, the golden rod. Okay, we might, how much, how much for the golden rod, buddy? Say, you seem like an eager angler. Have you ever considered upping your ante with the golden rod, which gives you two squid for the price of one? Two fish at once every time for the whole tourney. Hmm. 80 leave tickets! Um, I don't know. I'm gonna have to really think about that. Let's see how we do with the free net that he gave us first. So you can also use the tourney nets as you guys probably know by now. And I got a tourney throw net for free from Chip uh, just to start this out. So let's try it out and let's see how lucky are we gonna be with all of these tourney fish. Go, go, go! Come to me, little squidlings! Look, I'm wearing the hat of your people. You should really be happy. Look at how cute that is. Yay, purple octopus, green squids, record length. Now, how many... Is that enough to get Chip, like, interested? I want to see. That was one, one catch. What do you think, Chip? All right. So he's going to measure them for us. Do I need your golden rod? Let's see how far we can get. Ah, oh, they're so cute! 145 centimeters. Well, we have the wooden trophy. Yay! All right. Hmm, the golden rod. Hang on, I know he's really trying to push it, but that's so many leaf tickets. And I really, really am trying to save for some of the special fortune cookies. Uh, so let me check, how far did I just get on that total size? We haven't even made it to the first. We haven't even made it to the first thing. Oh boy. Oh boy. And there's only six days. So we would need to cover like six days, 10,000. Ah, we would really have to hoof it to be able to get done. Let's see how far we can make it just off of this first round of squid. And if we don't get very far, golden, golden lure it is. Look at how cute that is. Oh my gosh. And the little squid make the cutest noises. Okay. I might get into Splatoon. We might have to try it. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to come up with an elaborate plan to steal chips, uh, as in my chips, not 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 chip, but my chips, my boyfriend who goes by chips. I might have to steal his switch from him somehow, which is gonna be a little bit tricky because he is quite attached to it at the moment. 
Look at how cute! But they're only 18 centimeters. I really don't think this is going to go the way I hoped. All right, let's try this again. But my leaf tickets, my leaf tickets are precious to me. But I guess we can technically earn the leaf tickets back from Chip because we'd be able, oh, they're so small, 22 centimeters. Oh boy. All right, let's see if we can make it at least to the first like gift. And if we can't, then I know where my fate is, my friends. <gasps> it's so cute, look at you. A cute little purple octopus, gosh. All right, is that everybody? There we go. You wanna walk up and down the beach because you usually get, I find, um, I would say probably six, six fish at a time. There's another one. But maybe if I'm just really diligent and show up a lot, we can save our leaf tickets. Look at how cute. All right, yeah, I'm gonna have to try out. Yep, we got all the tiny fish for now. Let's come talk to Chip. All right, and let's go ahead, show him all the fish. Is this gonna be enough? We're gonna start getting serious on enjoying some Splatoon events. 194 centimeters. All right, that's enough to get to the first gift. Yay! Size-related goal. Got some presents. And, yeah, the green knitted splat hat. I really like having the little inkling hair though. That's really cute. And I love the color purple. So I think this is gonna work out, my friends. All right, so special Splatoon event. Are you guys looking forward to anything in particular? I want that trophy. Like everybody needs to get out of my way. If I can make it to at least like this, this first trophy, the first like bronze trophy today, then I don't think I'll need Maybe? Hmm, I'll probably have to make it further than that. Then I don't think I will actually need to get the golden rod, but if I can't make it past that today, I'm gonna get the golden rod and we will come back and work our way up to that beautiful golden trophy. And hopefully that really cool, like I really wanna see what the heck it is, the super sea snail. That's really cool too. So we're gonna have fun with this event. And then later we are going to try out the Splatoon cookie. Uh, if we if we manage to complete all of that, which means I need to save even more leaf tickets. And speaking of cookies, let's go ahead and wrap up today by popping over and trying out a couple of the fortune cookies that Tommy and Timmy are sitting on top of. I mean, look at all of that. I want that snail. I want that snail and I want that trophy. I have quite a few of the trophies. Oh, oh man, okay, it's not a special, it's unfortunately not a special event trophy, or a fortune, fortune cookie, but that's okay. All right, what are our two fortune cookies today? Let's find out. Let's go with Timmy's fortune cookie. So tell me my fortune, my little friend. Gosh, that's so cute. And? Oh, I'll wake up feeling great tomorrow. Yay, because I'm actually kind of sick today. So that would be awesome. And the strapped books are so cute. I have not gotten that before. What? Those are going to be adorable for like a little library setup. And then let's go ahead and have Timmy's cookie. All right. And Timmy, what do I think about this? You'll catch a cold, but you'll get over it in a single day. Now, both of those fortunes combined just told me I will not have my cold tomorrow, which I would be so freaking grateful for. And a Boston bag red. That is also new. Cool. So we got a couple new items from the twins today. And then you can see the inkling cookies. Let's actually take a look because I have not looked at what you can actually get from these inkling cookies. Uh, but you can get the turf war floor which is really kind of cool again that would be really nice to have for if we do like a mad scientist setup or if we ever do like an alien setup uh with some of the space theme stuff we have a splat stage fresh graffiti wall a splash wall a splat sprinkler which if that like makes a whole bunch of just paintball stuff go everywhere that would be kind of hilarious a splat roller which is one of my brother's favorite tools to use splat dualies splatter shot and then the pink spawn point and the green spawn point which apparently allow the animals to get up there and pose with their their gear so they'll like jump up there and they'll do little poses with uh, some of the splatoon gear that they will haul around so uh, i want to i want to get the i want to get like the set of 5 and i'm going to wait i'm going to wait and save and if we manage to win this fishing tourney then we'll do it 
But all right, I think that's everything. Oh, and then I was going to show you guys just really quickly. I did manage to get the historical ruin set up, but we'll save that for some sort of other thematic day. And I did find a great thing. If you are like me and you have more wood than anything else and you don't know what to do with all of it, I got to level 75 and I actually unlocked this item the raven pole and I highly recommend building that because when you do the raven pole it actually costs you let me see if I can find it hmm because it was kind of hard to is it going to be under decorative probably maybe no it's not going to be under music like I don't even know where to find them once I build them that's the problem here's a whole bunch of fences uh maybe it's under like world stuff it should be yeah here we go so this is the raven pole. It does cost you some rustic, but it uses up 300 wood, which is just fantastic. And it is a really cool, uh, kind of like a totem pole from, I believe, mo that one looks like they're basing it loosely off of the northwestern Native American tribes uh, in the USA, but we'll have to see. But it uses up so much wood. Highly recommend it if you are like me and you just need to clear that wood out and have a use for it. And I wonder if Gulliver actually will like take that. Let's actually pop down. I'm not gonna give it to him this time, but just if you have a lot, a lot, a lot of that resource and you don't know how you wanna spend it or what you're gonna do with it, let's go see what Gulliver has to say about if that is a, uh, a worthwhile, oh, look at me. I'm a cool little Splatoon character right now. Gulliver, hello, my friend. So, would it be, yeah, well, he just says that it's good, so it's good. It's not great, but it's good. So, that's good to note for Gulliver, uh, if you are just trying to maybe turn all of the, the resources you have into an item and then give it to Gulliver, so that hopefully you could end up getting some of the cool foods that he can bring back, then it looks like the best thing to do would not be what I did. Huh. I am not giving you my limited edition stuff, you you goosey seagull. <laughs> All right, well, that's cool. All right, guys, I'm gonna work on the Splatoon event. I hope you guys are gonna have a fun time with it and maybe this will eventually encourage me to try out Splatoon. So let me know how you're doing. Ooh, there's a little butterfly. Let me know how you're doing with your hunts. Let me know if you've set up your place to kind of look like the Splatoon. Uh, set up if you decided that you're going all in and you got some of the fortune cookies I would love to see what that actually looks like on your base or if you're just like me and you see that and you're like oh, It's perfect for my future mad science lab. Uh, that would be pretty cool, too So I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye